Welcome to the round table. I am Jen, one of your hosts, and we're so happy to see you guys. It's been a long week. A lot of things have happened. Cultura Cafe, welcome. Strange days, welcome, brother. I'm going to bring on my co-host, and we're just going to kick it off, kind of shoot from the hip tonight. We do have some topics, but we're, we're going to kind of just go with the flow as well. I'm so glad to see you guys here. Um, tragedy struck today, as I shared with my co-host. Um, I'll get into it too, in just a minute, though. Let me bring on the beautiful Denise Castillo. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome, sis. How are you? Good, sis. How are you? I'm good, except for the tragedy that I'm mm. doing. Yeah, we got to get through that. Got, uh, it's going to take me some time, but mm -hmm. I'll get through it. Let's bring on news. Here we go. Hello, Welcome. guys. Hi, Hi how Sister Jen and Denise, how you doing? Good, Hello good. Hello there, Strange Days. Good, good. Yes, we got Strange Days, Cultura Cafe. Dale, oh. Cultura Cafe. Cultura. <laughs> Uh, Salvador, how are you? It's, I'm glad you caught us live. Oh, uh, Salvador, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. So happy to see you guys. Make sure you hit the like, please. Welcome, uh, everybody. Welcome. Yes, yes. you. Uh, stranger yes. Days. I haven't seen you yes. in a while. I know, I know man. What up? What if you want to tap in, let us know. And um, it's always an open open seat for you, brother. But I, know. I know. I know. <laughs> you cracked me up. Uh, Straight J says, Denise. Oh no, that Vato down there scares me. How's your scaring Vato's out here? Hey, he, 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 put that, he sent me that on IG. You got, you got jokes, man. I don't look what? scary, man. But I'm, hey, when I put those, when I put those pictures on IG, it's the I'm going to church, man. I'm going it's to church. That's right before I go to church, man. I get ready. Bam. Let's go take a picture. Right. Yeah, you always get the There's Joker. Joker. Yeah, you, you do go looking sharp for church. That's right. Always. Okay, so you, uh, you guys want, you probably don't want to hear my tragedy, but I'm going to share it anyways because yeah. I got to get it off my chest. Yeah. Say it with your chest. I, right. So when I was about to start getting ready, I was like, let me get get it together, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know you dudes won't understand, but ladies, you're going to get it. My makeup bag was missing. Don't do don't, right? Mm -hmm. I looked everywhere. I looked high and low. I looked under my car seats. I looked in the back of my car. Under the bed. Yeah, near and far. You know what I mean? It was nowhere to be found. I think someone stole it. And here is what's even worse. About two days ago, I thought to myself, you won't open. hey, maybe you should lock your car doors, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, who's going to steal a Nissan? Nobody will. Yeah. You know I mean? You're like, so what? Right. So I didn't lock them. But when I started thinking back today, when is the last? You know how when you lose something, you think, when did you last see it? You right. know? Yeah, where'd you put it? When's the that last was the day I last saw it. Sorry, guys. The day that I think it was God telling me, girl, you better lock your doors. Mm -hmm. And I didn't listen. And now I'm sad. <laughs> my my hey, makeup. Did, hey, when you lost your makeup, Jen, did you have an anxiety attack? I actually of? did. I was sitting here yeah. like, like writing stuff down for my next uh, interview I'm going to record on Thursday. And uh, one of my kids walked in like, what's wrong, mom? My face was all, she's like, your face is all red. I'm like, um, what do you mean? She's like, you look stressed. I'm like, I am stressed. Have you seen my makeup? <laughs> <laughs> and then she knew right away. She's like, oh, no. How much do you think that was worth, mom? I'm like, Shh. probably $500 uh -huh. in there. At least over time, you know what I mean. You, know how yeah. it is. you get a gifted item here and there. I couldn't have bought all that stuff on my own. Yeah, but you know, yeah, hey, things, things are so things are so expensive, man. Right now, I mean, when you buy stuff, it's like right, you know, eaters, man. Yeah, yeah, for real. So it's a good reminder. Yeah, strange days. We all need to lock our doors. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So that's your house doors. Oh yeah, and that's what's crazy is I'm I'm really like on it about the house yeah i go around i'm probably overly me too. 
Yep. A little bit, yeah. Checking them multiple times. Yeah. My car, I'm like, meh, but I should, I should have paid attention to what I was feeling. Yeah, but you're bagging the car. You didn't think nobody would take it. I mean, what do they need it for? It's not even. You know what my daughter said? She said, Mom, it kind of looked like a small purse. They were probably thinking oh. they were going to open it up. There'd be cash. There like, you go. Dad, exactly what they thought. Up, there's, there's not even an EBT card. So <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> That's exactly what they're thinking right there, man. If it looks like a purse. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. how was that? You know what, you know what Jen? One time I, I left my, I, I used to always leave my car open, right? I don't even sweat it or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But I left my windows down one day by an accident. I asleep. My windows were down the next day. Everything that was in my car was gone. And I, at that time, I had a Lincoln Town car, all original, clean, yes. with even with the old phone in the center, right? Mm -hmm. They took the phone. They took my registration and everything, right? Uh, <laughs> so when I went outside... I seen some papers up the street and those were my papers to the registration of the car. No, but the phone and everything else. Yeah. No but you know, some cars I'll lock up, but some cars I'll just say, uh, this yeah. and who yeah. don't want to take it. But if you have something of value in there and they see it, mm -hmm. they're gonna want nowadays they're taking your damn Cadillac converter. Yeah, that's right? the thing, right? You know, that's that's, that's something to worry yeah. about, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. I just seen on the news um, yesterday that this guy started a business, Chicano, started a plumbing business, and the 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 you know that um, camera on your doorbell, yeah, so oh, the ring, the yeah, whole, ring. yeah, the ring. Bell. He caught the whole thing. Two cars, one drove up, one went around him. It's in front. Somebody no, jumped no. off, got in that yeah. car, and they all three they took off, took everything. He found his car the next day. But his livelihood, his everything was in that, oh that my uh, gosh. you know, truck, work truck. That's wow. so messed up. Like, so so like you said, his livelihood was there. Yeah. Hey, home base right here tapping in. Hey, Jojo. Hi, Vanessa. Yes, Jojo, Vanessa, Mikey. Joker. Saludos, uh, Mikey. I see Mikey there, too. Yeah. Vanessa, yes. Amiga, how are you doing? Jojo, hey, AZ. Yo. Yeah, Mikey, what do you think about Salinas okay, finally right? with the cruising ban? You guys, we had a cruising ban here in Salinas since 1992. Damn. I never, so I was like, yeah, that's messed up. Because I remember, like, I never got to yeah. even really, like, do it. Because I was in, like, was I in elementary school or middle? Yeah. Oh, wow. So oh. now it's my time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, they, uh. They're doing that over here too, you know. Whittier Boulevard's closed down right now. Really? Santa Ana's not, but Whittier is. Oh man, you know? Santa's popping. I gotta go. Yeah, over. it is kicking over the Anaheim. I mean, I I, like, damn. You should record some of it. I would love to see, like, how well, it is. I don't travel. Denise probably could do that, but I don't travel over there. But I watch LA Con. You should watch LA Con. Oh, yeah, he's bad. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's a real good channel, man. LA Confidential. And Shout out to LA Confidential. Maybe Jojo, yeah. can, maybe Jojo could uh, post his link. Yeah. He's bad. He's very, very... Um, I'm going to write it down because I want to check it out. He is a very cool guy. You know, he's polite. Mm -hmm. And and if any any single ladies are out there, Vavoom, he's looking for one. <laughs> <laughs> check him out. Yeah. He is cracking. He, he he cracked me up. I was watching it earlier, and he was cracking me up, man. That's funny. He's a funny. He's a funny guy, man. He's a cool guy, but he's funny, man. Yeah, he's very. That's cool. always a, a plus, huh? To have a good laugh. I gotta go, man. I missed like two already. So. Oh, I was like, you gotta go. We barely got here, sis. <laughs> no, to the car show on Sunday. Yeah. There's always uh, cruising on Sundays right here. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you, Jojo. Yeah, that's what's up. Denise, yeah. how was your weekend, and what did you do? Anything what did I do this weekend? Exciting? This weekend, you know, we just do our shopping on the, on the weekends because that's the only time we, we can do stuff. And um, I'll tell you what, you guys, I have got out of bed wrong, and I twisted my, my leg. Mm. And so I was like, okay, it's cool. You know, we walked around the mall, and I said, let's go all the way down and, you know, all the way down, come back. Mm -hmm. So we're, we did that and 
and uh, my leg was hurting, but I was just like, I'm going to do this, you know? So I did that. And the next day on Sunday, I was like, oh my God, my leg is hurting like during the night. So I woke up this morning and I was like, man, I got to go to the doctor. Like it's really, it's really bad. Like it was like, I don't know how to describe it, but it was pain and then like throbbing on my knee. Yeah. So I yeah. went and, uh, did, did x-rays and stuff and they were like no you're good you don't have nothing you know your bone didn't break nothing nothing it's probably just all bruised inside the way yeah. you twisted it so he's like you want some crutches i'm like no right <laughs> <laughs> so he gave me like a brace the brace works it, it really helps mm -hmm. and um so that wow. was that and um yeah we just uh, you feeling better now or what right you're, now you're... i'm good because i took some the pain meds that i got mm -hmm. So I don't feel no pain right now, but I, you know, I know. yeah, I know you sounded there. you were in pain the other, the other night when we talked. You were, I could tell. Oh yeah, it was in my face too. Everybody was like, "No." Hey, you can you pass me one of those right now? Uh -huh. well, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So right now I'm good. Um, right now I'm just good until you know. Good. I don't have no more pain pills. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm right. Scared. Yeah, let the let let the knee heal up. Maybe it's just like you said, something a little bruising inside. Yeah, there's something. Yeah. Gotta well, my daughter, she rubbed me. Remember I told you, Jen? She's my daughter has a good um, you know, so she didn't teach hands, it the right. Huh? She has strong hands. Yeah, she was gonna be a, a masseuse, but like she went towards the the gun um instructor. Mm -hmm. You know, right that's on. what she chose to do. Yeah. And uh, but she always like every, at church, she would rub people and they would like kick her down 20 bucks. Really? Everybody was like, can you rub really? me? And how to be a, a chiropractor, they make some bank, you know? Yeah. yeah. Cracking bones and doing all that. Yeah. 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 So she held the hand and she <laughs> fixed me up for a minute, but there was like a lot of knots in my legs too, you guys. Hey, Jen, I seen that video you posted <laughs> about that. That uh, peacock damaging the cars and picking at the paint. <laughs> <You're laughs> yeah. that. Hey, I'm not even playing. Every mm. time I I'm, I roll up for church, he's out there. Mm. And you know what? It's funny. It's, I mean, I don't know if it's funny, but so every time I pull up, he's there. And I, if you guys, if, if anyone knows in the chat, peacocks, when they make their noise or whatever, they sound like a woman screaming. Screaming. Help. Yeah. <laughs> Because when I used to live, for a little bit of time, I used to live in Castroville, like a little side town to Salinas. Like if you ever had artichokes, you probably know, like you probably had artichokes from Castroville called the artichoke capital of the world. Hmm. So there was all kinds of peacocks right there. And all night long, they would be making that noise. And my daughter was a newborn and I was like, man, there's some lady out there screaming help. And finally, I told the neighbor, like, do you hear that? And he was a firefighter. He's like, that's a peacock making that noise. Dang. I felt so dumb because I was like really stressing that there was someone out there distraught, you know. What? Yeah. But um, I found out that's how they sound. So the church <laughs> I went to is close by there, and those dang peacocks are still there. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on top of the church, but you know what it is about the cars? Hmm. He's, he's, I, I asked one of the I go to church with a bunch of senior citizens you guys I love it I don't care I love old people like mom I know you're going to see this I'm not talking about you but most of the people are a lot older than my mom even I love I just love old people like that's part of my heart yeah you know? can I ask you a question real quick Jen mm -hmm. uh, the church I go to I chose that church because there was uh, centurions there man I mean there was a bunch of them you know not just one you know, they live to be a hundred years old and they've yeah. been going to that church for a while. So yeah. that's why I attended that. And it's a nice mix, mixture of all kinds of uh, people, you know, Yeah. but you see a lot of old people in there, man. And I, and I go to the same kind of church, man, just yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, like, yeah. So I, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we have so wisdom we can soak up from them, you know? Yeah. Do you oh, feel yeah. comfortable? Do you feel comfortable in a church like that, or? Yes, I do. You know why? Because why? Aw, Jojo, thank you. Because <laughs> my grandma was basically, I mean, you know, is I feel like still, but was it's almost a year since she's been gone. My mm. best friend. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, she knew me better than anyone knew me. Mm-hmm. Like, you can look at me and be like, what's wrong? I could tell in your eyes. I already know. Like, she could read me. Wow. I don't mean read in a weird, like, card. Yeah. No, you yeah. know, like, in my eyes or my face. Yeah, like, she knew you. She knew your She knows what's cracking. She knows what's cracking. Yeah. 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 Right, Mikey? Shout out to Casterville. I know. I don't hear nobody showing them no love. But shout out to Casterville. What's Casterville? It's the little town I was just telling you about. Like, it's oh, okay. so small like a lot of people don't hey nay love hi nay um, oh, hey, love. Hey, yeah. but um yeah the the dang peacock is always there so oh, it wouldn't be a problem except when we go into the church he goes and attacks his his reflection in the cars oh that's, that's what alarms oh that's what it is yeah he sets uh, off the alarms on some of you know some of the newer yeah. cars he sees his shadow, his uh, reflection. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so one of the guys, he had a really nice truck, one of the older gentlemen. And um, he was so mad because the peacock scratched mm-hmm. it up pretty good. What does it say? Oh. He How's got the... it. And, uh, How's the what? Have you oh, my husband's doing great. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's what's up, Jojo. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like, I don't you know. know Jojo, how are you? Yeah. I know. I love Jojo. The young man that's um, there is like the pastor's son. Oh, well, it would be her grandson then. She, oh, okay. You could see her like look at him and be like, hey, go. go <laughs> and he runs outside and chases a peacock. Oh, away. my God. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's right. That's right. Well, I mean, yeah. and don't park. Oh, right, yeah. people don't park there, huh? Like too close. Yeah. You know what? He don't mess with my car, though. But <laughs> I have a theory. I think my car's too dirty. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was going to say that, Jen, but I'll yeah. let you say it. You, know. you ain't lying. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't wash your cars before you go to church, and he won't mess with you. Good. Hey, because yeah. they can see that, that yeah. reflection, yeah. man. If yeah. it's real strong, then they'll say, what's up? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. They, yeah. Love mir- they love mirrors, too, on the cars. Well, it depends on the type of bird, you know? But mm-hmm. I remember a hummingbird and some other birds would just go by that mirror. And they'll be pecking at it like this, you know. And Dude, it's a trick. speaking of birds, have you guys read upon uh up on um uh, uh crows? I've heard I, bits and pieces. Are you okay? Are you I've I read on about crows and I watched some videos and it's a trip because they are smart. Where if you feed them in a certain spot, they bring you gifts. They bring you back gifts like even if it's just the top of a bottle cap or something or a rock or you know little little things like it's a trip you guys need to see that i know i know cats would bring back uh trophies like you know to show you their appreciation uh go for head or or whatever you know i I never heard heard that about crows that's a trip yeah you gotta look up crows guys and then tell me Tell me next week what you guys think. They're they're a trip. Super funny you say that because I was always too embarrassed. Why not embarrass myself? Mm. I do all the time. <laughs> I had an I had an uncle R.I.P. Like the only one that was honestly like cool to me. Like he stayed talking to me after my dad passed away. You know what I mean? He didn't how the rest of the family like placed me in a category where like ah you're your brother or sister wow. kind of thing. Cause he was the outcast too. Like he was, you know, he, he did his thing back in the day. And mm-hmm. anyways, he had two pet crows in the house. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm yeah. Not like, no, I'm not. Like, I it. Shout out to my uncle, uh, filthy Phil. Yeah. I know he's in, <laughs> he's in heaven now, but he had pet crows. Wow. And I'm not That's... Like, no, yeah. I don't know. A crow like come I up to the lady and the lady kissed him. Yeah. And it was really you know, I don't cool. know if that's true, you guys, but uh, if you split the tongue of the crow, they said they will talk. I don't know if that's mm-hmm. a myth, but I heard it a while back. Where did you hear that? Oh, from? that, did that. I, I, I've been hearing this for years. Damn. If you cut the tongue and split it, then they'll talk. I huh. want to know who caught a crow. What did they say? Hey, hey, if somebody cut my tongue and split it, I'll be like, yeah, what the? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, they do that too. People do. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know if it's a myth or not, or has anybody heard that before? Because I know I've heard it several on um, several times from different people. Yeah. You know? yeah. You guys, let us know. Have you guys heard that? Crows. Yeah, that's a Look at Nay Love says yesterday a bunch of crows, maybe about fifteen, were go acting crazy in front of my house, making noise. It scares oh, me yeah. when they, they do probably that. um they fight with um with pigeons and uh, oh, uh right? I guess what else I, like all the other birds, right? Yeah, but there was another um, bird like them, like a crow, mm -hmm. that they don't get along. They really yeah. are just you know they they got you know the chicos. Hey, the chicos are the ones that will handle the crows. You know, yeah. they're like, they have the long tail with the little mm -hmm. white stripe. They're real small mm -hmm. birds. They're not big, big, but they're not small. Yeah, mm -hmm. they always tend to fight with the, the crows. Yeah. 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 Hypervigilance, I, you just reminded me of something. He says, crows, um, all my ancestors, spiritual thing for indigenous people. Yeah, I know a lady. Um, she's a trip. And she has a crow on her mailbox and nobody messes with her. They're scared of her. Mm -hmm. The city 18, what's up? I wanted what's to think up? Because like my when my stepdad died, a mm -hmm. crow would not leave that pole on the back of my house. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that the same crow? No, it could be. I don't know how long they live, but hey, like, it, it, it's the owls you have to worry about. That's something that freaks me out. And mm -hmm. I know I thought probably mentioned that to you before. The owls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like no people say. It's superstition or this and that, but and you see it in real life happen to my ex-wife mm -hmm. and, and my surroundings. Yeah. Wait a minute. I was I, I didn't even want to tattoo a person of a, a owl. Wow. And, and that day when I was doing it, I thought I really don't want to do it, you know, because this is what's going on and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And they go, Yeah, that's superstition. I said, you know what? It was a big piece. I says, I'll do it for you, right? Mm -hmm. And so they went to the bank to get the money. When I went inside the house, I see my ex-wife uh, mm -hmm. crying and screaming. I'm like, what, what's going on? She goes, my cousin just died right now. And in, in his spirit. Yeah. No I'm way. Like, Man, this, hey, I told that lady, you know, I'm not going to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I ended up doing it, but on a later day. Another but day. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they used well, to. The, uh, used to walk, um, the white crows. I mean, I yeah. Was, when I used, yeah. when I used to live down here, when I where I live at, we walk down the street, right? Me and my lady. So we're walking down the street. Two of them just fly by right in front of us, like this, right? We're like, wow, you know. And they make a a screeching noise. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, and after that, she lost like five people in a year. Wow. Five and every time we've seen it now, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, you know? Yeah, but now these days, I got a picture of an owl, too. I don't know if I mentioned that. And mm -hmm. he was out in my back door, and there was a tree over there. And he always posted up there. And one day, I just I take a picture of him. So I took a picture, and his eyes looked like they were on fire, man. It was wow. trippy. It was trippy, man. Yeah, no, you guys got to look up crows because they are smart, and they do bring... Mm -hmm. You got gifts if you feed them, and I don't know how that. I'm I, I'm dying to go feed that bird right on my wall. Oh, crow! I need a Mercedes Benz. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right? uh, look at Mikey has a question right here for you. House. What rabbit, rabbit? Do you got new equipment? Sixteen needle shaders or cutting needles? Uh, I I used everything from a forty needle mag down to a single needle. You know, so yeah, I I, uh, I don't use coil machines no more, and that's mm -hmm. because they're heavy for my hand. I've done tattoos for mm -hmm. so many years; it takes a toll on your hands. Yeah. So I use the uh, uh, pins, and they're lightweight. You can interchangeable cartridges. They're real easy, real real comforting, comfortable. Okay, yeah. you know what? Yeah. That's I'm glad you brought that up. I would have never thought to ask that, but. It makes sense because I know, like, a, a, I have some homegirls that are hairdressers and things, so they use their their hands a lot. Yeah, which yes. you do as well. So yeah. the carpal tunnel, all that, probably in time, you know. I'll show you something real quick. Give me a second. Go ahead, talk. Yeah, your hands, like you think, you know, I just think that all girls holding, like, doing blow dryer and holding oh. it, my hands get all like. 
mine too. <laughs> mine too. And I was like, am I being dramatic? But no, like I, I noticed like I drop things. Well, I do have carpal tunnel, but I lose feelings in the, the pinky and the ring finger on both hands. Okay. Picture this, Jen, this is a coil machine. Okay. Well, okay. Nice. This, is a, this is a coil machine. And on the end of a coil machine, you'll have a, uh, what do you call that? A tube coming mm -hmm. out of the front like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that. But now you could delete this and it's top heavy. This thing's real heavy. All I got is this now. Look at it. Oh, wow. Really? Interchangeable, interchangeable needles right here. Bam. Really? Yeah. So that's all you have to hold Just on to now? Plug it in there. What's that? That's the only thing you have to hold on to now is that. Yeah. Wow. Like, like, see? Okay. That, that's all you got to hold. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I'm, I'm one of those old persons. I started off with a needle and a thread to a homemade machines yeah. and to coil yeah. machines. Wow. And then this and this. Uh -huh. I love these. I love these right here, man. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah that's bad. I like that. Mm -hmm. A lot easier on the hand. I bet it As is. You can see, sometimes you see me going like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen you do that. Yeah, I've seen you do that. Yeah. What? Strange days. Says I've harvested That's 11 it. chicks thus far. I hope for another 30. So you're all right. All right. are doing good. Sell some eggs. Oh, let's see. Hey, hey. Hey, eggs have gone down, right? Yeah. Eggs have gone down. Yeah. So yep. here's another question before we get into some some topics. I mean, has a question too. Right. Rabbit, what's the most cover-ups you've seen on one person? Laugh out loud. The Salinas report. Uh, hey, one of my clients, man, uh, names from their vatos, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, that's one, that's two. I already did three on you, girl. Uh, you know? girl. Slow your roll. <laughs> Yeah. Nayla said, how long does it take you house to get the hang of doing tattoos? Magenta. You know what? Uh, you can learn quickly, especially with the equipment they got now. You know, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier. But us old school people, we had to deal with these heavy things, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff, you know, yeah. and patterns. Now, take a look here. Let me show you a pattern real quick. Do you but mind that or no? House, you had to learn how to draw first, right? Oh, yeah. You have to know how to draw. Yeah, because I don't have no skills for drawing. Let me, let me show you this real quick, if you don't mind, Jen. Yeah, go for it. See, I have a printer. I'm keeping up with technology, which makes it easier, right? Yeah. I've done this around this girl's leg the other day. I've done a vine. You see? Oh, that's, the, that's the pattern. Mm -hmm. So it makes things a lot easier. Before we would have to trace and do this and that, make a stencil out of a copy thing, mm. you know, such as this right here. Look. How about that? <laughs> you see this? Uh -huh. And then we have to trace on it and oh, do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now all I do is do it on my phone, send it to the printer. Sure. There's some. There's some other things that I and look. See, that's the that's pattern sweet. right there. That's nice. I've done this. Uh, this was a cover-up. This one and a rose underneath it for this one girl to cover up a name. Wow. Yeah. That's, but, that's, that's cool, man. Shit. Right? Yeah. Next, I think they have those, like, things where you put your arm underneath this this thing and they and they do it for you. Have you seen that? What? Oh, yes. Oh. Look that up. It's a 3D um, tattoo, 3D tattoo machine. Okay. It's all okay. it's all like uh, robotic or what? Yes, it's robotic. And you put your, they do the thing, they put it in the screen, the picture. Yeah. And then on yeah. the, it just like does it and it starts tattooing. <laughs> I'm like, what? Hey, that guy, you know that sleeve I'm working on? Mm -hmm. That dude, he went to Texas and I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'll be back. I'm, I was at a funeral, blah, 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 right? Uh huh. And I haven't heard from him since, man. Oh, wow. I've been trying to call him and everything. He goes, I'll be back. He goes, uh, are you open for this day? And I and I told him, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I haven't heard from the dude. Or, or, or he hasn't contacted me and I haven't contacted him. Wow. And 
we're not done, but it's looking dope. It's looking fire, man. But uh, yeah, I I'm, so still, I'm still waiting for if he wants to come through. Lenio has said, Lenio, look at oh, nice. Okay, and see how realistic they are. Look at yeah, yeah the eyes, the, beautiful. <laughs> and you know, I got to notice the eyebrows too. So yeah, yeah. Real. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Hey, um, but yeah, it, it's a lot easier, man. It's a lot easier. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's gonna get more. Uh, you're gonna see a lot more easier way of yeah. To do but it. you know what? Right now, what I see is a lot of youngsters. They're coming out of school. Mm. They're getting a ink. They did. They dealt with art. They come out, get a a, a pen, and they start mm. working and they start doing it. You know what I'm saying? I had this guy I was teaching for a while, and he was paying me to to teach him. And yeah. his drawing was like this right but i got him to draw realistic now mm -hmm. and then he started tattooing so it's a blessing and, and uh he's doing that now you know yeah, yeah, yeah. my nephew's a tattoo artist oh, I, saw, I think i was calling you on accident how um oh is that you That's oh yeah I was, I, was like, your, I was trying to look up your instagram because machete is asking right now what is your Instagram? Oh, okay yeah yeah hey you want to see something funny though since i'm just here a little show and tell i guess eh? Yeah. This is a guy that used to work for me. He used to work for the Simpsons, right? When I had my tattoo parlor. Right now. And he goes, Hey, I'm gonna draw you like the Simpsons characters, right? <laughs> no. So he drew me, him. It was little man Chico and me. Check it out. <laughs> but that's Chico. Uh, <laughs> that's yes. Me. Not you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can tell. And, and that, that's little man right there. Right on. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and he, uh, he did this, man, and it was dope, man. And he's a good artist, too, man. Yeah. I, you know? Yeah. I could tell. Like, that looks legit, just like the Simpsons. Like, See, yeah. he, could, he could do this, but he couldn't do it on skin. Oh. So I took him as an apprentice in my shop, and, mm. and we were, I was teaching him. You know, and now I haven't seen him in a while, but he's doing way better, man. Way better. Right on. Cool. Yeah. Stranger days. You got a. My daughter has her dog tattooed on her, and it's does she an image? I I wish I had a picture, but um, maybe she could send it to me. But um, you guys, you gotta have the the you know you have to have an artist that does portraits. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they have to be on. I mean, you gotta. They gotta be on there. point. Everything has to be on point, man. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna look like them. Right, <laughs> Mike says the Salinas report. <laughs> Rabbit, you got a bundle package for cover-ups if they have multiples. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if well, you guys it's not like they have three three people at one time. It's just as time oh, went by, you know, they have one and another and another, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hopefully but yeah, good. man, it's gonna be dope, man. That's cool to be a tattoo hey, artist. You look at this one. Look how easy it makes it now these days. I'm going to show you a picture. Now, if I wanted to do this one exactly like this on somebody, it's going to be just like that. Look how easy. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a stencil right there. Mm. Dang. And now you just put on the skin like that. Bam, mm. it's there. It makes it easier, you know. But it, yeah. I could draw, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a lot of people that are, are doing, that can't draw, and they're still tattooing because... They have good stencils now, you know? Yeah, that's cool. If you guys yeah. want to see some cute dogs, check out Mikey's dogs, the Salinas Report. Their family pups are so cute. What are they? Mike, what are they? What's the breed again? They look like little baby lions. You guys see it? Wait. Aww. Oh, yeah. that looks nice. oh, oh, there you go. That looks like that a looks real nice. yeah. that's her. That's her pup. That's dope. Cute. She got on her leg. Yeah, she waited a while for that guy to. That's super cute. Uh, why do you teach? Uh, let's see. Why do you teach students real art, or maybe um, why don't you teach students real art? Rabbit. You know what? I had a okay. This is I kind of like I seen these people do it, but prior to me going through the divorce and all this other mm -hmm. crap that I went through, you know, I had mm -hmm. goals, big goals, man, to where. I was going to have a studio in the back where I teach people mm -hmm. a class and they pay their fees for that. And then I was going to have a tattoo parlor up front. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so this way they could eventually get their apprenticeship there also, you know, yeah. but things happen, man. Things yeah. happen. Yeah. But you know what? I just go by appointments only and, and, and that's yeah. it. And that's what I do, you know? That she, said, she said Oscar De La Hoya's brother-in-law did, did that. Oh, really? Okay. So that's, that's true. Cause I didn't know that. <laughs> right on. Yeah. But Strange Days wants to know what's for supper, everyone. Oh man, I got some tacos over there. Tacos. Me. Nay Love, you made some tacos tonight, right? Taco Tuesday. Yeah. And thank you to everyone, by yeah. the way, that um tapped into my premiere earlier. I think it's true. Like uh, I've seen a couple creators put out there, YouTube's not sending out um you call it the the notices i'm drawing it blank oh, right yeah now. yeah yeah that's what yeah. i've been hearing yeah so i had an interview um with april from compton um she goes by bo peep but when she and she's got a a good story like she's been through a lot it's kind of a long interview but she did like a little over 27 years oh wow so um if you guys could go check it out please and show some love i would really appreciate it I don't think a lot of the, the notifications are being sent out. So double check your notifications, guys. Oh, okay. I seen that one you did, Jen, on I seen that one you did on that one guy about the prison art. Yeah. Did one, you that okay. one you did. Yeah, that was dope. That was pretty yeah. good. You know what? I thought he's such a young man. And to see mm -hmm. uh him supporting his brother in that way, like yeah. you mentioned, he was only 16 and his brother was 18 when his brother caught his case. And see the way like he goes hard for his brother, it really touched my heart. Yeah. 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 So I have a question, a topic, kind of a question. It can a little bit piggyback off of some of the things we touched on earlier. I've noticed, I don't know if it's just my feed on YouTube or social media, because you know how it kind of gives <laughs> you whatever you, you watch or what you like. How <laughs> 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 Sancho Villa. Sancho um, Villa, you're crazy. You Try to pick up on me the other day. Oh my gosh. She wants to get cover up on us who got his name tattooed. Like, I don't need a Sancho. That's what does that say? <laughs> what, I mean, oh, the house I want to cover from my highness. Of all the highness. And my two dogs are, are called golden doodles. So I'm assuming. Golden Retriever and Retriever and Poodles. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute. Um, okay. So I don't know if you guys t let me know. And you kind of good to see you. I have noticed on my YouTube feed anyways, hmm. that I see a lot of people and this won't be like a full on like religious topic, but it's a lot of people are drawing a line, like what they follow or what they back, like, they're either all the way for God, like I'm a Christian, I follow Jesus. And then there's some people that are like all the way going and out, like or the opposite direction. following the enemy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There was a, what was it called? I saw a video, a few videos actually. Uh, there was some kind of event and they called it something like, oh, Lord, forgive me even repeating the name. Uh, Satan Con or something like that. They had a whole event like for people who are like Satan worshipers. Dang. And I, it would trip me. Be surprised. It was so bold to just be out there and mm -hmm. maybe that's what we're here for. They rented a, I think it was maybe a hotel or some sort of event area. You know what I mean? And they had some lady up there tearing pages out of the Bible and it just blew my mind that it was like no no filter no like where'd you see that at um oh all over online like a lot of the like YouTube pastors and ministers did videos on it reacting okay and then I saw some people sharing like hey, can you believe this so it just I don't know are you guys seeing this too like sort of a you know one thing I seen Jen was mm -hmm. In Brazil, they had a big parade for Satan. Hmm, and I, saw that. I, I was watching, you saw that one? Oh my Where God. The aftermath though, because they were worshiping it the next the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mm -hmm. wrath came. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm like, 
Man, that was crazy. Me, I, I'm good. I love God. Am I perfect? No, but uh, we all fall short of his glory, you know? But, and, and, but uh, he's the one that keeps me grounded, man, because yeah. the trials we go through on a daily basis, yeah. he's the only one that's going to help you through, man. And that's yeah. all, you know. Yes, most definitely. That that you're mentioning, I've seen that on a lot of different little posts, little videos, and some of the like online ministers or pastors reacted to that. Mm. And yeah, it was like a, I don't know, a street festival or something. I, I, they were totally like, it was blasphemy. They were like mocking. And like, I think it was the next day, a flood came through that same town. And just flooded the whole area. Everything was gone. Right. It was wild. You don't play, man. You do I not don't play. play. Mm -hmm. Top America, Top Gunner. Thank you for being there earlier. And the you know. here. Yeah. But me, per, me personally, I, I, I like the good part now because I lived for the enemy for several years. So now mm -hmm. I'd rather uh, give my time to God. You know, yeah. like I said, I tattooed Soldier of Christ on my test. On my chest, yeah. I'm held accountable now. But yeah. do I slip up? You know, I used to have a real foul mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, really bad. Once mm -hmm. in a while, it'll come out. Not not a lot. You know, like a, a word will come out. Mm -hmm. It depends. Like sometimes, you know, how they say you hang around a lot of people that cuss and this and that. And yeah. I've been talking to this one guy down the street here, and we've been chopping it up. And I, I remember the other day I was talking to you guys, and the F word, F bomb, just popped out, man. Like bam, you know. <laughs> Because that's what how we were we were mm -hmm. talking. I was talking to him, you know. Oh. But I, I I asked God to wash my mouth, you know, out yeah. because I had a foul mouth, you know. But mm -hmm. did it go away overnight? No. And it, is it still gone? A lot of it, but not oh, yeah. as much. As it was. You no. too. That was me. I was a bad mouth. My mom, yeah. I got it from my mom. Really? Yeah. Every ff. My my husband even goes, man. When I met you, you you had a ugly mouth. <laughs> and I was like, dang, I, I remember I did. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, like, right here real quick, American Top Gunner. Those guys are confused. Some say they don't believe in Satan, and some say it's not about Satan and worship it at the same, uh, but self-worship. Yeah, I noticed that when because uh, a lot of the people, like the content creators that showed up there to kind of try and challenge them were like, hey, you know, so who is Satan and what do you believe and why are you here? They're like, oh, we don't believe in Satan. We're just here. Hmm. So yeah. uh, they're just confused. I, I, a lot of them are, right? I agree. Lost with, yeah. With no yeah. Life. Well, it was cool to see a couple, um, like, pastors or evangelists actually were very humble about how they approached these people. Mm. They didn't do it, like, on a bullhorn, you know, and be obnoxious. They, yeah. like, approached them in a, a kind and gentle way and, and you right. know, witness to them so that was that was nice to see you know but, i don't bible thump anybody i don't go in there and tell them this is what you're gonna have to do and blah 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 no nah. i'll plant mm -hmm. a seed and you plant that seed and let it grow you know because and, and and that's what you do because there's some people that once you talk about the bible or talk mm -hmm. about god they like they don't like it you know what i'm yeah. saying people don't like to hear about it, you know yeah and yeah. uh and, but, you know, you just drop a seed. I'm not going to shove yeah. nothing down anybody's throat right. because yeah. it's not the way I do it, you know? Yeah. yeah, I know. And, Denise, to what you were saying, you know, you're like, would you say you got your your language or your whatever from your mom? It's yeah. true, like, who were around. I noticed when I went to this little, you know, I don't want to say what, the little, nothing bad, but one of my friends events the other day mm -hmm. everyone there and i'm not blaming them like i'm accountable for my own self right yeah but i did notice when i left i'm like damn i said this and this like you know and i'm really trying hard to to not use curse words and speak a certain way because my kids are watching me i mean god's watching yeah but yeah. my kids are watching me yeah. and yeah. When I left, I was like, I felt, yeah, I felt convicted. So I was like, oof. And, uh, you know, but it, it's like, okay, I noticed it. I felt convicted and I'm moving forward, you know, like mm -hmm. I made it right. Mm 
What's that? The Rojo room? Is the Kanye yeah, you know, it's, it's, good it's, God, it's good that you know you you know that it's God convicting you when you say something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, you know, one time, Jen, I met this man, and he and I barely met him. And he came up to me and we we're talking. I thought I was being fed. He knew the Bible like the back of his hand, you know. And he was quoting me scripture and all this and that. And then uh, he all of a sudden he says, you know what? God is a bad mother effer. You know, I'm like, but he said the words, you know. And I said, wait, wait a minute, man. I said, you shouldn't use God's name in vain like that, right? Yeah. And then uh, he goes, yeah, he is and this and that, right? I said, hey, I appreciate it if you don't come up with that stuff, you know, or this and that. And I thought I was being fed, right? Right. I just prayed on it. And I said, hey, Father God, if he not be for you, then don't let him come back, you know, because I really, because before he started saying that, I was talking to him like every other day or so, you know. Mm -hmm. But once it started coming that way, I, I said, nah, I'm, I don't think I'd want to hear that, you know. So he yeah. never came around again. So I said, yeah. let it be. You know, yeah, yeah. But we're not, per hey, Jen, not by, by no means, we're not perfect, you know, like I said, you know, and yeah, we, absolutely. And I, you know, just like me saying what I did, like, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm, I'm so, no, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make a mistake today and, and make a mistake tomorrow. Yeah. I'm recognizing my own mistake. Vic Med, uh, yeah. From what I understand, yes, I have a question, he says. Yes, uh, I Why do people say Jesus? Uh, do people, can't pronounce uh, his real name, Yeshua. Yeshua. It's Christmas tree symbol, Yeshua. No, uh, not to my understanding. It's, you know, that, that's not of Christ. Uh, that's, uh, you know, the really, pagan. It's a pagan, yeah. You just yeah. like Halloween, yeah. My understanding, oh. Christmas trees are not a good symbol. I, I understand the same thing. I'm like, probably not as that's a whole santa claus kind of thing yeah you know, I'm, I'm probably not as oh. educated on that as with the rabbit on easter like what does that mean yeah there's a yeah. lot of things like we should we need to like read up on and and get into our word and see there was a uh, uh, when right? i went to a, a comedy place jeff garcia i was seeing him up front right oh. and he was talking about jesus did you hear he goes hey i don't know why they're so mean to jesus man they hang him on a cross and they put him on yeah. a chain <laughs> you know and, and or why why does jesus lay eggs you know because of easter yeah. you know but the, right. you know he started saying stuff that like one that. gets me I, i'm like what is a rabbit yeah. for the resurrection yeah. right it's mm -hmm. just some, some things that uh society comes up with you know the world you know yeah. Yeah. and let's celebrate it in this way the passover let's make eggs you know let's hide eggs i don't know man yeah <laughs> But no, I mean that's right. I've heard the same thing. Like, you know, where did the name the name Jesus come from? Yeshua and like yeah. Elohim. Jehovah. 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 Yeah, yeah, he Jehovah. has a lot. There's a lot of names. Yeah. 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 I don't know all the different languages or the meanings, but I'm trying to catch up. You know. Yeah. Welcome, Raha. Yes, Raha. Welcome. welcome, welcome. Welcome. What did uh Vic say? What is that's a long one too. Don't judge. That's the one I, I think I just wrote. Wait, let me go down. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit behind. Don't judge someone because they sin, right? right. Differently than good. you. Don't judge someone who fall, fails a test. You yourself have yet to pass. Don't judge someone until you have walked in their shoes. I yeah. to that. Hey, that, 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 like that same goes. Pull the speck out of your own eye before you pull the speck out of somebody else's eye. You yeah, know? yeah, that's but, scripture right there. And, 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 I don't need that. Is, judge. You know, like, I don't, I don't get that part. Like he, I, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, I don't get how, um, I don't get how people sit there and judge other people. It's <laughs> crazy. Right? Right? It is crazy. Before you, but you know what? I think back to, and I'm like, there's been times. I, I'm going to just be real blunt and admit there's been times I've been like, that's, you know, she shouldn't have done that or that's crazy. And then immediately I'll be like, you know what? I need to check myself. Yeah. I'm not sure I just did that. No, past, no, but. no, but there's not one righteous man that walks this earth, man. Yeah. Everybody yeah. still sin. We're born sinners, you know? Yeah. No, you're I'm right. Just, I mean, I've been through that and done that, you know, in the past. And that was years ago when I was even mm -hmm. you know, just a youngster. But yeah, yeah. 
you know, you learn and you live and you live and learn. Yeah. Praise God. And you just know that. Hey, oh, Denise, yeah. I need one of those pills right now. I'm having, <laughs> been having knee, knee problems oh, lately, uh, man. Please. A little bit more than, I think it's old denitis. A what? Old denitis. Old denitis. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Aches and, aches and pains, you know. Exactly. My knee been bothering me and, and my my ankle, but I think my ankle hurts because I had an injury on it before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's no joke. Like old injuries, oof. Yeah. yeah. And the older we get, yeah, people are always yeah. judging me for taking their high nuns. <laughs> that's Man, right. Hey, Jen, I'll, be a, couple of, I'll be a couple of years from 60, Jen. <laughs> what? I'm a couple of years from 60 right no. now. No. Yeah. You don't even look it. No, you, you don't. don't. You look good. Yeah. I'm like, damn. The that time's flying cool. by. Right. Yeah. And, and that's how you it's how your body, you know, it's how you feel because I mean Yeah, I don't feel old, you know, but no. my body's saying, Yeah, you do. <laughs> All the injuries, yeah, yeah, you do. You know? Right? That's how I feel. It's like the body's like, hey, slow your roll. Yeah. 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 Hey, you remember when you used to jump over fences? Go try that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Right? For real. <laughs> hey, you know, you one time, go ahead. Jen, one time I was, uh, I think, 40, 48 or 49, somewhere around there. And I was jumping on top of this brick wall, and I was going uh, over to a store. So I was walking along the brick wall, and I went to jump down from a, a pretty high brick wall. <laughs> well, I, little did I know that it was on a big downgrade. So when I jumped, and I said, man, I should have hit the floor by now. <laughs> so by the time I hit the floor, I really hit the floor, man. I was oh, like, damn, because it was nighttime, and I did, I thought it was level with each other, and it wasn't. Oh, I, was no. like, damn. I, I made it through that, though, man. I was <laughs> like, hey, I'm too old for that. <laughs> it was pretty high. Did you yeah. see the picture? Where? Yeah. He only feels bad when he talks bad about Cholo or something. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, I don't feel bad about it. It's not talk about crazy about Cholo. Crazy. <laughs> hey, give me a second, you guys. I'll be back. Oh, go, ahead. Second. go ahead. These guys are friends, though, huh? Yes. Yeah. The Vic's mm -hmm. a boss. He's a truck driver. Like, like the whole yeah. room. The whole room. Let's see. Aww. I'll get it. Oh, let's see. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, share the link if anyone wants to jump on. Um, e, if you want we're to just, jump on. We're just chopping it up. Yeah. So, gotta, you know what, Denise, how about, uh, you know, what we had talked about? Um, you know, we all came up in a different time, yeah. you know, like we said. And I was thinking, I think the way, like you and I came up and a lot of the people on here, when our mind thinks of how poverty is viewed today and how it's viewed back in our day, it's very different. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, I feel like my kids are like, if we don't have um, a three, four, five course meal, they think, Oh my gosh, like we're, we're poor. Like we don't, you know, and I'm like thinking back and I'm not saying we ever like did without without because even when things were tough like when my 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 real parents were married in my younger years mm -hmm. I, thank god we had my grandparents so like a backup system but also yeah things were a lot different a lot tougher than how my kids think maybe yeah. they have it now yeah yeah it's funny because through my daughter's eyes we're like we always have money. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, we okay, I'm back. we got them everything they wanted all the time. Uh -huh. That's the thing. They were spoiled, and their grandma was here with us, so she kind of never let that slide. Like she had to get what they wanted, and they didn't want things all the time. Mm -hmm. But when they did, you know, they got what they wanted, and and it, they grew up like that. And it, and it's like I tell my husband, I go, man, these girls think that money. That we have money up the butt, you know, and yeah. I said you did that to them because mm -hmm. I would tell them no, 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 we ain't getting that. And then I turn around and 
there's my husband with his grandma and getting them what they want. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like that. They grew up like that, and it's still to this day. You know, we and thank God we have it. Like I'll say, here, take my my card and go get whatever you want to eat. And my wallet's getting smaller and smaller every day. I mean, I don't know how how old you are, um, house right now, but I'm fifty eight. Okay, so just eight years younger than or older than me but that'd be my my aunt and then back in this when damn 78 you know when when all that disco oh yeah about bottom open oh, shirt oh, platform yeah <laughs> big old hair right poverty um, is relatively cheap to address and incredibly expensive to ignore okay right you're right Oh, hey, poverty. A lot without saying a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the poverty, there's not that much poverty today. I was looking at it since 2016. Mm -hmm. It's actually gone down, which I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised too. Yeah. Thing, yeah. I thought it was getting worse. Well, with the homeless, I thought it was getting worse. Excuse me. Yeah. That's what I was reading. And I'm only going by what, what it was on the 2016 to mm -hmm. 2000. Uh, 23 and it's actually dropped i think it's like 30 uh 39 percent and before mm -hmm. it was 39 percent before mm -hmm. no 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 let's put it this way it was 40 something before now it's only 39 okay yeah so they're saying it, it dropped. 43 or yeah ouch mm -hmm. yeah you did a lot of work what'd you do house you hurt yourself yeah my knees kill it my knees i got a bad now last Dang. couple months but I keep pushing. I don't stop. So when I pick up my leg, I feel the pain. That's why I went and got some Tylenols right now. Oh, it's yeah. either Tylenols and <laughs> ibuprofen. I don't take that other stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's no joke, huh? I think our generation didn't mind poverty, but we, we're just happy people in our times. Yeah. We did a lot of hanging around and good times. Yeah. I think so. I think we didn't see it like... I think our kids now are so much more consciously aware, whether it be from school or whatever, social media. I don't think I was back in the day kicking it with my brother at 10 years old, 12 years old, like, oh, we're poor, you know? Mm -hmm. I can specifically remember a time, and like I said, we never like went without, without, but, you know, there were times when things were low. Yeah. I can remember <laughs> my brother making, we had bread, mayonnaise and carrots that's what we had in the house yeah and he's like he made carrot sandwiches <laughs> yeah, like, oh. sandwich. <laughs> you know what i mean but if you're hungry you know you're gonna eat you gotta eat what you gotta eat so check this out so in the late 60s my mom had mm -hmm. four four my four oldest brothers and one sister three brothers one sister mm -hmm. and uh she you know she got with a guy from from la and um so she, he would come in and out of prison, right? So he would be in and out, and then she'd get pregnant, and they were like a year apart. They're all mm -hmm. a year apart. All of us are, but um, she would have like this tab with the local store. You know, she'd go to the store and just she would be out, down and out for like two or three days, just like, dude, I need, you know, she would tell him, I need help. Um, pay you back. I'll come back and I'll pay you and I'll leave you such and such uh, collateral or whatever, you know. So. Uh, she would ask for potatoes, beans, and rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all she would ask for, you know. Mm -hmm. And he he would give her, he would give her that. Tell her go get them, and yeah, you know. Yeah. So she would like be like, that's what we lived on for. That's yeah. What we did, you, know, you know, I can say a story about my family, and, and oh, I'm not yeah. embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed about it. Uh, my mom had twelve, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a difficult time. And some moved out, some still live with, we had a seven bedroom house, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of people lived in there and their friends. Mm -hmm. So, and this when I was a kid, I was like maybe about eight years old, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. And it was tough times back then, man. It was some really tough times, you know, we used to, I used to say, if I'm going to eat, I used to get a little, uh, what do you call it? Container. 
Yeah. Throw some tortillas, eggs yeah. in there, and some potatoes, and mm -hmm. I'll have something to eat. I was already cooking at that age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was already making my own food because my mm -hmm. mom was at work, and then you have all the younger ones uh, at home and stuff, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty difficult, man, but, mm -hmm. but you made it through. Right. Thank you know, I'm not even going to lie. When I, when I was old enough and my mom had got laid off, um, she worked at Boeing, and they closed mm -hmm. the whole thing down and we were living in, in middle class. We we're in Cyprus, um, the city of Cyprus, living mm -hmm. middle class, had everything, had everything we ever wanted. Um, didn't know what poor was at that point. And right when she lost her job, we lost our house and mm -hmm. we moved into the neighborhood and that's where it just all was bad, like all bad. <laughs> so yeah, you know mom, this, this is the key go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, my mom ahead. would make like a hot, you know, get like eight slices off of one hot dog. Yeah. And then roll them up with tortilla and, and fry them. And that's, we, that was our, that was our, our meal, you know, yeah. we were tripping out. Cause we're like, man, where are we? Like, I know I was, it was a shock. Yeah. So, you know? So you noticed it, like you felt the, the change. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. We didn't have new stuff anymore. We all had a shirt from my four sister down. We all had to share clothes, you know, shoes, and it was bad. It was really bad. You know, going back to the, what I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of like prepared me, uh, not planning to, okay, yeah. but my lifestyle before, I had bought a home, several cars, kids, everything, you know, all the good stuff in the middle mm -hmm. class neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then after my injury, my life changed. Mm -hmm. But now I'm more humbler. I, I live in a two bedroom place. I'm renting, but I still have that peace, I guess, because I did go through some hard times before that I know what I'm going through now. It's not even that, that bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. And thankful to God, I have roof over my head, food, clothes, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I have all that. Fancy stuff, diamonds, uh, jewelry, everything. Huh. But uh, but you know what? Some people can't deal with a, a drastic change like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to understand. You know, but uh, I'm accepting it, and I do what I do and keep busy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I didn't plan on being somewhat retired already at this age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah but. Hey, I, but I got this, my hustle, you know what I do, tattoo, yeah. uh, it pays well, you know, so yeah. that's what yeah, That's right. And that's it's funny, right. just the stories we tell our girls, you know, stories we had told them. It's like, I, I lied to them at one point where I go, you guys have, you know, we have dad's insurance on, from his mm -hmm. work. So I told them, you you have to go to school to have insurance. Yeah. That was, um, that was facts. But then they changed the law there, or they changed mm -hmm. it, and you didn't have to go to school. But I didn't tell them that. <laughs> I was like, I'm not telling them that. Not that they would drop out or what, but yeah, I make you know that was just something else that I threw at them, and you know, thank God they all finished school, and that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm glad to hear yeah. that. Yeah. Being poor, dude. It's you know, I feel like. Hi, I feel like all of us, like, I, I don't want to say all of us, because I'm sure there's people in chat all different ages, but the majority of us right here on the panel and in the chat, we are fortunate enough to where we grew up in a generation up. where, yes, what's up, Brenda? Where we, we might not have had the very least, but we didn't have what people have now. So we know how to survive. I feel like we're surviving. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I agree with you, Jen. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. We make yep. things work, you know, in some yes. ways, you know, it just always, and it, and it's God too. It's only, it's only That's God looking right. out for us because I know I've experienced some stuff and I'm like, wow. Yeah. That was God. <laughs> Cause he, I know he, how prov hey, he provides out. guys, he provides, you know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. he definitely at the does. right time at the right moment. Exactly. Like he shows up and I'm not even lying. Like, yeah. Lord, I need a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I sit back and I'm, I, I just kind of like, this happened, this happened, this happened. Wow, that's amazing. Right? Like that, that's all God. 
I just didn't realize it at the time because you freak out. Yeah. You know, oh my God. And then you kind of like, okay. I'm looking back, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm thankful. I'm breathing still. Everybody's breathing. You wake up, man. Yeah. For another day. Yeah. Thankful to God. Amen. That's right. That's right. I can remember, and I mean, you know, I hope he's doing well. But I, <laughs> well, I'm sorry I had to bring this up. But I can remember when we were little, right? The first house. I can, I have memories from like my first 10 years. Um, it was Mind like you. countryside. So we had like chickens, goats, cows, horses. And my grandpa, he like sort of like kept the, like he kept up the, the fields and the land for the owner that owned this place. So we were able to, I think, rent it at probably a lot cheaper than it would have been mm. because my grandfather worked for them. But um, there was this old coach you know, named Gus, and he worked for the food bank. And he would come bring food. But I remember he'd always hit on my mom. Like, yeah. And me and my brother, we knew. Like, we were little kids. <laughs> we knew. We're like, oh, that's nasty Gus. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nasty, nasty Gus is here. Go grab the cheese and the cornflakes. But that's oh, nasty man. Gus. Mom, I'm sure you remember him. <laughs> But hey, I mean, he was he was dropping stuff off at the house, you know. That's how it was back in the day. But that that got us through, and yeah. I don't feel like we ever felt without, you know. Yeah, it might not have been everything, but to us, we always had something. Yep. Oh, it's my mom. My mom made sure. Yeah, some nasty guts. <laughs> yeah, I'll share this story with you guys real quick. Right. One time, my mom went to uh, Texas, right, and she mm -hmm. left me at home. And I would say, okay, man. And she didn't leave me with very much food either. Mm -hmm. So I says, man, back in the days, I says, you know what? I used to watch her make tortillas, right? Flour tortillas. Yeah. I says, you want to make some, right? Yeah. So I kind of like try to figure it out on my own and do this and that, put the flour in there, the lard, you know, mix it up yeah. with, the, like, with the baking powder or some yeah. salt. And whatever. Anyways, when I made them, they came out like crackers. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, at least I had crackers to eat. Oh. Up. Sometimes it'd be that hey, way. That's one thing. I'm not lying. My mom taught us how to make tortillas before we left the house and got yeah. married and stuff. Yeah. Man, I love some homemade flour tortillas, man. I'm oh, telling you. Dang. Right? You, sucker for those. you gotta tell me how to send you one though. Yeah. I'm a sucker for some homemade flour tortillas, man. Right. That'll get you through. <laughs> Heck yeah, and that's one thing yeah. we had to do. You know how they put them in? They, my mom she used to put them in a towel in a thwaya, just man, put them in there, cover them yeah. up like that. That's the only way to do it. I still do that. Keep them from getting hard. Yeah, or, or, yeah. Yep. yeah yep. I still yep. do that. Steam yeah. in there, yeah. Because having that thing where you put the lid on and all that, mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's that's for the birds. She also she yeah. also used to use what you use, Jen, to make chili, the mocha jete. Yeah, you know that. Oh yeah, I still have that. Yeah. I have I that thing it. that you put it, put the masa in, and you smash it, and it comes out like a little tortilla. Oh, you have one of those too? Okay. Yeah, I only use that when I make like um, what are they called? When uh, you stuff them, and then you like, what are they like called? the the papusas or yeah, yeah. No, yeah. kind of like that, but okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, all, 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 all the old. Because of my husband's grandma, you know, we have a oh, yeah. thing you cook the tortillas on that mm -hmm. iron. Gomar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. I don't know how to pause it. I don't know. Hey, my, my, those are uh, cracker ones that came out shaped like a, a seat, <laughs> like a bike, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, I remember right. when I was, I was a kid, I was probably like 12 years old. I was still trying to get them right. And it, they came out shaped kind of like a heart. And my brother tried yeah. drowning me. I was like, I did that on purpose. Like, I meant for it to be <laughs> like that. You just got to play it off sometimes, right? Like, uh, it tasted yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, you got to learn and, you know, you got to do that. And, oh, my God, my favorite food from my mom, my favorite food was papas and, and ground beef. Papas and uh, ground beef. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Yeah, so I remember that, eating that, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, she had to feed eight of us, and mm -hmm. she did it, man, by herself. I used to love when my grandma used to make uh, chicharrones with mm -hmm. rice, with cheese, I'm not my beans, cheese, and then two eggs, 
Oh man, that was you know what I hated waking up to when my husband when I moved here to my husband. Um, his grandpa would make a menudo and he would get that white, the he would make, make it from like scratch, so he'd get that yeah. white skin. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it smelled like crap. It just I'm not even lying, it just smelled bad. <laughs> I hate that smell. You we're down with it, huh? <laughs> The only, the only thing I don't really like eating is tripas. Mm, yeah. I don't eat that, that, that I won't touch. That I just. Goat head. Oh. Yeah. I would rather have that than tripas. Like the, the irony smell and taste of tripas. I just can't. I never you know, even. funny when, them, when we go to parties that have the, the pig, when we go to the parties, yeah. um, I, I don't eat it, but I'll eat garnitas some, somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Funny. Thank you for going crazy. It's just seeing it like not in the full form of, you know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. I think that just goes, goes with me. I'll yeah, I'll, leave it. I'll leave it somewhere else. Timo, good to see you, Timo. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I'm going to share the link if anyone wants to jump on. We're going to be on a little bit longer. You know, I had a, a uh, very uneventful weekend this weekend. This week, I, I spent more most of the time resting. Well, I go down my daughter's house and seeing my grandkids, but resting, man. My knee's been bothering me, man. I think you just need like to work it out. Either. Oh no, trust me. Hey, that's what I say, and I go do, and I go do. Mm. You know, I got the little go my little route that I go, and then I go walk uphill. You know, but. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's the weather because we've been having like a lot of fog and, mm. and haziness. Maybe you know how they say it, it hits the bones or whatever. Oh, you know, yeah. what I'm saying? my That's dad true. used to say that. Hey, my no, it's true. I'll I'll tell tell you. You. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, it, we're gonna get rain or just gonna be cold. And sure enough, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> my it's in my bones. But yeah, yeah I mean, arthritis, you know, you feel it. You feel it. Yeah, you feel it then, huh? Liver and onions. Yeah, that's very iron. I know what Brenda said. I used, I used to do that when I cook salsa too. Oh, oh yeah. Burn everybody's eyes. Or like, that's a good way to clear the house out with the kids. Yeah. You know? Right. Your chili. That chili, man. That chili would kill you. You start coughing and everything. I'm telling you, though, that, yeah. that scent is to me, it's so good. I feel like, mm -hmm. oh, I mean, maybe I should do it myself. Shouldn't put it out there, but I will. I already opened my mouth. <laughs> yeah. There should be like a candle scent of like roasted chili. Like Ooh. I love, I love the smell. I do too. Ooh. I love that. Smell. That would be that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that would be bomb to have in your kitchen. I mean and cilantro course. too. Cilantro. Yeah. Cilantro. Oh yeah. Cilantro. Yeah. cilantro. I'm gonna yeah. try to not try. I can just walk out there with my phone and do it. Like I did plant my garden this year. I just started right. it. All so right. I always have my cilantro. It's going good already. Nice. So I put some strawberry plants, right? And I was already getting some fruit on there. So right. not yesterday, mm -hmm. but the day before. I went out and we have this every year. There's this mama deer, and she has a new baby every year. Oh, shit. They ate the whole plant, no. like leaves uh, and all, right down to the put food. a fence around that. Then, damn, oh, it, this thing is nice. Yeah, mm. I had to put up a chicken wire around it. Yeah, because I mean, the property here backs right up to the woods. Denise, I showed oh, you before. I love your backyard. Yes. So it's like, and, and they're getting brave, like the mama, <laughs> the baby, and the buck. And wow. They're coming out when it's dusk time, so I can still mm. see them, you know, clearly. Yeah, but they're getting a little brave to be coming down and eating from my garden. <laughs> hey, that'll be cool to, cool to see, but forget the mountain lions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> oh, white why... rabbit, dude. I forgot to tell you guys, there's a new like white rabbit that sits on my driveway. My driveway is long. Really? It's really long, and and they, he sits right in the middle at night. Like I could probably go out there and find him right now, but. <laughs> He's just chilling right there, <laughs> just looking back, and I'm like, "What?" My daughter's all recording him, and I'm like, "Damn, that was a trip. Where did the white rabbit come from? I have no idea." Right? A little. Hey, I don't know, but Artie Marine has some big. Uh, Artie, Artie Marine has some big rabbits over there where he's at, man. Oh yeah. I, said, those, I them, those are cats, man. These oh, rabbits are cats. Yeah, <laughs> when he when he does that, look at this house. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey. I love those, yeah. Those, uh, stories too. Sea dog. What's up, uh, Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate you being there earlier on the premiere. Thank you. Thank you. Sea dog. I got to connect with Blue you. Sea dog. You will connect. Yes. What's up, brother? Good to oh, see Brenda, you. Tap in. Yeah, so tap in. You know what, Brenda? I want to yeah. do uh, little tomatoes. Those little tomatoes that grow off the vinyl. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love cherry them. tomatoes, huh? I remember just sitting there chilling when I was a kid and just salt and just eating them. Yeah, oh, straight from there. That's how my oldest daughter, that's how she would be. Because we always had a garden. My grandpa had us out there as kids. Like, not, I don't mean that like, oh, he had us working. No, it was like a, the thing to do, you know. We had our family garden. And my oldest daughter, she she would eat when she was a little girl, like just a toddler. She would eat a tomato off the vine just like it was an apple. Yeah, they're good, man. Those are the best ones, even at the yeah. market. Definitely. Um, I, I love eating whole tomatoes. Uh, they say they're not good for you. Something about the acid really? or something. No, it's good for I your, love pro eating your prostate. It's good for, your prostate for guys. It's good for a guy's prostate to eat off. Are they? Tomatoes, yeah. yeah. I just started, I I started buying them at the store for my husband, and I pack his lunch with one every day, like, oh, okay. every day. You know? Yeah, that's good. I didn't know that, but uh, I eat them, like, uh, with pepper. That's it. Just that mm -hmm. pepper. Oh, wow. Okay. No salt? Just pepper? No, just pepper. I got to cut down on the salt. Doctor says yeah. no salt. You know? Yeah. Me too. I like salt, but. I, yeah, I everything has salt, much. too. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah. You guys have to go check out Brenda uh, Brenda Love's playlist on Mr. Odie's. She, she got one. I've seen it. I was like, yeah. Guys, yeah. Oh, for yours too, man. You, got to, you guys have some good ones, man. Some I'm glad you told me. I didn't know Brenda has one on there. I'm going to go check it out after this. Yeah. We're going to be on like 10 more minutes, guys. <laughs> okay. Right well, on. I guess what? You got to go over to buy it. Okay. Store to buy. I love tomatoes and tacos. Me too, Serena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm at, I have like fresh herbs, all kind of fresh herbs out there. Basil, cilantro. Wow. Basil. That's freaking cool when you could do that. You know, my basil is like way different than regular basil. I don't know if anyone mm. has tasted How's that? it. So regular basil, you probably, you know, most of most people have tasted it in like spaghetti sauces or Italian dishes, yeah. right? Yeah. I love basil. Yeah, yeah me too. Thai basil, I mean, it's Thai, so it's it's an Asian, mostly in Asian flavors and dishes. But for myself, when I, the scent of it, and when I have used it in different dishes, it almost, and don't be grossed out by how I'm explaining it, it no. almost has a black licorice scent to it. Oh, wow. Okay. But okay. the taste, you have to taste it, no, like, but it's really good in Asian dishes. Oh, wow. You have to cook. I mean, it's really good fresh and in Asian dishes. Like if you make spring oh, rolls or things like that, mm -hmm. completely different from regular basil. Right on. Yeah. That's good. You know what I also love is bay leaves. I love bay leaves. Yeah. I love the taste of bay leaves, man. Yeah, you can throw a bay leaf in something like a, a stock, a soup. In the meat, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will change up yeah. the whole dish, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bonigas, yep. Yeah. Bonigas soup too. Yeah. Um, you say, I always mess with my kids. I say albondegas. <laughs> <laughs> I say it all white. Albondegas, quinceanera. <laughs> I know my daughter plays and she's like, oh, uh, mom, did you put jalapenos in this? <laughs> jalapenos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right so on. Got to check out the Pasta Queen on YouTube. She has a cookbook, too. Ooh, okay. Right on. I'll check her. I'm making green enchiladas. Probably make them tomorrow. Ooh, so. Yeah. With chicken? Yeah, chicken or yeah. beef. I prefer yeah. beef. I've been eating a lot of green, chicken. Yeah. My kids love green enchiladas with chicken and green olives. You know what, Jen? I don't know if I mentioned it to you before, but... Cream of mushroom on top of that, man. Oh, it's fun. yeah. Well, you know what you do, house? Well, this is what I do. Um, get the chile las palmas, and then the, you can do it in the red one. I haven't done it in the green one, but put that um, cream of chicken or cream of mushroom in that yeah. chile. And, oh, man. Yeah. It I tried it on green ones, man. It is so good, man. Brings out the flavor, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's funny you said that, house, because... 
uh, I didn't pour it out yet. And I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> so my daughter's, yeah, she has brought him home and introduced him finally, the boyfriend, the older daughter. Okay? <laughs> and he wanted a dish uh, his mom makes and it called for cream of mushroom soup. And I was like, I think there's a can. Yeah. Like I have a spare pantry. I'm like, go out there and check. Mm -hmm. So they bring it in. Right. I mm -hmm. open it and it had the little already, you know, how some of the lids like have the little pop, you can open it right there. You don't need the can. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what? It looked like broth on top of it. So I thought, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's old. So I poured a little bit out. Mm -hmm. It was chicken and stars in a cream of mushroom can. No way. Yeah, so I'm gonna like record a little video of it and uh, at Campbell Soup and see if they send me something. For wow, food. that's crazy, right? So we did the other day too. I got like all these cans of of because I wanted can, uh, corn. So I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, corn, seventy nine cents, right? I'm grabbing all all, all of them. Yeah, and I get home, they're all freaking cream corn. I'm like, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I had to hey, go have, back to the store. Nah, man. Have, have you guys ever tried uh, French cut string beans mm -hmm. with uh, corn? Like mixed oh. together? Yeah, you mix them together. And like on my, gri on my grill outside, mm -hmm. I, I put it on there. And then I put butter in there. And then I put pepper in there. And it's a little mm -hmm. bit of salt. Yeah. Oh, my God. The flavoring oh, wow. that, that, sounds that good. it is. Yeah, that would be good. It's bomb. Yeah. It, it, it really is good, man. And I think on the grill, it probably even gives it even a better flavor. Yeah, right? it gives it like a, a southern kind of like mm -hmm. uh, taste, you know. A little smoky, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah there you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah or, or, try, or try and get some of those red potatoes yeah. and put them in foil and mm -hmm. throwing all kinds of, I put all like, a, what do they call that? Uh, I put pepper, salt. Mm -hmm. um, what is that salt? What do you call that salt? That's um, seasoning salt. Yeah, like the, the lorries. Yeah, I put yeah. I put seasoning salt in there and there, everything in. Uh, I put them in there. Sometimes I put some onions in there, diced up. Yeah. And then I put them on, on the on the grill and That's let them sit there and cook. <laughs> and know. afterwards, they have a smoke flavor to them, you know. Yeah. And then I put some green chili on it. Oh my God, it's bomb. Man. Even better, yeah. I think everything's better on the grill in the fire. Right. Well, no, my daughter just bought one of those flat. Like those taco, you know, yeah, one of those little ones, and man, you can do you yeah, there, light it up and cook you your meal. Dang, yeah, strange days, right? He's all, let's eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat right now. Right, we're all gonna eat right now. So yeah. uh, that's right. What do you have going on this next week coming up, house? Anything? Um, or new? Okay. Just uh, doing some work, probably. I know I got some work Thursday and and Saturday, so. It's probably work. That's the time when I, I do my most stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, just um, not really too much. Not too much. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't see no car shows or anything going on around here. Uh, More of these coming up. Yeah, it is, huh? Yeah, next week. Uh, next month. Yeah. yeah. Monday. Next week. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, this Monday. I'm sorry. This Monday coming up, the 29th. Yeah. My sister uh, might be coming down from up north this on uh, June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she lives over there in Madeira. So oh, okay. She might be coming down. Her birthday is coming up in June. So. Oh, man. It's my yeah. daughter right there. I'm coming to pick you up right now. So be ready. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. She's all, hi, mom. Oh, nice. She's at our nana's right now. Yeah. I got spoiled for a couple days, but I think. Uh, it's over. <laughs> right? You're all not like, anymore. Yeah, for a couple of days. Oh. Is that true? Burger King is closing down. That's like the yeah, second. That's what I heard. What? I heard that. Burger King is, is shutting down? I've that's heard, what I heard it. but I don't know if they're all shutting down, but right now, mm -hmm. um, Stranger Days said that they're oh. closing. So I'm hey, saying. Denise, I, I know what those three foot pedals are. They're uh, for like sustaining the notes when you're playing the piano. Oh, you know, okay. one shut it off the names are a little difficult to, mm -hmm. to pronounce you know but they're basically for to uh, sustain like the, name, the notes yeah yeah there you go okay, to give okay. different notes, uh, to increase it to lengthen it you know yeah. or to quiet it down you know so yeah, yeah those three pedals. 
My daughter don't have a piano, but it's a, um, what do you call those? Keyboard. Keyboard, yeah, keyboard. And she does pretty good on it. Yeah. I, uh, um, see, this is what I got going on. Look at right here. See that? Vanessa, I use garlic salt for right. powder. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. I told, I'm, I'm, I'm really educating myself on uh, music theory right now and, and, and figuring this out and stuff. And, it, and I'm learning the software and it's, it's not going to happen overnight, you know, but I am making progress and I'm understanding it more, you know, that's cool. Yeah. My husband you know, told me to take up sewing. So I got to go get a sewing machine and see what, mm -hmm. what I do because that night I just sit here and I'm really like anxious, you know, and I'm, I got to yeah. start doing You got to keep your mind going. Keep your yeah. mind going. Yeah. That's a yeah. good thing. You know what? I mean, if you that's talk a good, about, if that's you a talk good about, form of uh, therapy. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry, else. No, that's okay. Go ahead. That, that's a no, good form of therapy. About, um, yeah, it is. And and when, yeah. you, when you have, you know, I've told you guys I took care of the grandma for many years and she passed. It's going to be mm -hmm. two years already. And. I've been sitting here fiddling my thumbs, like what, what to do? You know, I don't know what to do, but mm. yeah, I gotta do that. Um, it's not like I don't do anything all day, but mm -hmm. you know, I gotta do something to like work my mind. Like I said, yeah. Oh. Yeah. what did Cholo oh, say? No. <laughs> hey, hey, anything aside of uh, taking all those selfies of you in the Charlie Brown shirt, huh? <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I just ordered some for summer. Cholo came in here to say, when was the last time you ate at Burger King? Sure. I, don't, I don't eat at Burger King. I don't know, but I'm going tomorrow. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. They're know. shutting down. That's my favorite spot, you guys. Man, a Whopper really? with cheese. Oh, man. What do you get? I had that when I was pregnant with my last daughter. Like, mm -hmm. every day I ate that. <laughs> that was my craving. What did you get from there, though? Like, what was your go-to? Whopper with cheese. Oh. Whopper with cheese and onion. I'm like, dude. But, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, you better go get it while you can. I don't know. Okay. Jesse Bosa says 400 of the stores or restaurants are closing to bankruptcy. I got a phone call, you guys. Okay. I got to say good night. Good night to everybody. God bless you guys. Have a, a hey, good I'll evening. You. You too. I got to bounce. Have a hey, good weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> that was China. I know. I was like, gotta go. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at my phone like, what is that noise? It's not mine. <laughs> Did you try that yet, Brenda? I saw that commercial today mm. about the Spiderman burger. I don't know what it had in it, but I don't know. She says the bun beet maybe is beet dyed juice? with beet juice, beet juice to make it red. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably funny. That's crazy, right? Yeah, well, Whopper's oh, my go-to burger, yeah. man. I'm I'm shocked they're closing. I'm like, no. my grandpa used to get the chicken sandwich, the long one. Mm. He would get that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really mess with burgers. She, like she hasn't tried it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you guys better try it when you can. <laughs> right. But how about you, Denise? Anything coming up this week? Actually, no. There's nothing. Um, just the. Memorial will just probably celebrate that on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's coming up. Yeah. Monday, I think, right? The following Monday? That's on 29th, yeah. Right. Okay. But, yeah, no, you know, I don't have really anything planned. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, no. Easy? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Nothing I can think of. I mean, when I it know. comes, <laughs> is so old and doesn't get. He gets smoke signals. <laughs> Is that what that was? That's I was it. wondering what that noise was. <laughs> uh, right? Funny. Funny, right? <laughs> I, cholo. I know. I have, um, you know, like I said, the the interview that dropped earlier today, if you guys want to catch the playback, yeah. I would appreciate it very mm -hmm. much. Like I said, it's kind of long, but it's worth it. And shout out to April um, for doing the the interview I really appreciate nice. and her opening up the way she did. Yeah. I, I always like hesitate to say what I'm going to do because I feel like when I say that it doesn't happen. So I won't oh. say who, but I'm going to be interviewing someone Thursday. Fingers crossed. Oh, okay. The content creator, um, a female. 
So oh, nice. God willing, that works out and it looks like it's going to. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll try to get that out by this next Tuesday. I know. Isn't that weird when you speak on something and then it. it yeah. I feel like every time I do, no matter what. No, you don't. That's it, yes. Wow. When I don't, I get like three back to back. <laughs> so I probably <laughs> just should have shut up. But anyways, oh, yeah. I got some new stuff coming out. And um, I just want to say thank you to everyone in the chat. Vanessa, Strange Days, Cholo Trucker, Brenda mm -hmm. Love, channel member. Vanessa's always on. Yes, Vanessa's the bomb. I appreciate yeah, it. Jesse Baca, American Top oh, Runner, Darlene, my daughter, Ella Ruiz, Strange mm -hmm. Days. Oh my gosh. Thank you to all of you guys. Sea Dog and Cooper, uh, Timo, Vision, The G Lu Show. What's up, Unique Vision? Yeah. Jump on. I wanted yeah, to talk. Vision. Yeah, maybe next She's time. A cowboy fan. I'm like, yes. Yeah, maybe we're next week. And if you guys, you know, would like to jump on with us, let us know. Okay, so he says he'll jump on next week. Right All right, on. you guys heard him. Yep. All right. It. So much love and appreciation to all of you, Denise. As always, thank yes. you, sister. It was thank good you. to catch up. I'm glad you're feeling better. And we will meet here next week. Yep. Always appreciate you and everybody in the chat. You guys are loved and, and God bless you even more. Um, and I wanted to say this, um, you know, YouTube brings a lot of drama and, and, um, a lot of, um, what do you call it? Like division division. Yep. Division. Yes, exactly. That word I was thinking. Um, so I just want to remind everybody just to, um, you know, you know, at, it, I don't want to be Debbie Downer or nothing, but it is written that in the last days, we're just going to all be separated and hate each other and just you know so i got just to remind everybody to have that that heart of love giving you know respect and all that good stuff because youtube you know people watch and kids watch and everybody and we got to show them that that you know we're we're the we're their examples you know example yeah be careful what you put out there so that's right. Be a good, be a good example for for the kids out there. You know, mm -hmm. that's all. That's right. With that said, you guys have a beautiful night. Buenas noches. Bye, sister. Love you. Bye, sister. Love you. Talk, sister, to you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.